All right, so I was just recently home for Thanksgiving, and the tank wound up being on its own for about five days. The water evaporated a little too much, and this filter up here stopped working. So all that then was working was this filter that I built in the back, which I built as a supplement, not necessarily as a main filter. It kept things alive, but I had about 10 shrimp die, so I, I did have about 35, but I had about 10 die. Uh, also, when I was home, my mom has a f couple fish tanks going, and she gave me some wisteria. And I've got two stalks planted back in there by the thermometer. And uh, from what her experience, it grows real fast, so I put it in the back. I'm going to use it as a background plant. I moved my big driftwood log with java moss on it out to the side here. And I still haven't quite decided how I'm going to rearrange the tank for all this to fit, but the log there on the side with uh, java moss is still in there for the shrimp. That's their favorite place to hang out. <laughs> I've got some wisteria floating up there that hopefully will grow over the top of the tank, and then I'll use that as a cover instead of the plastic cover that I have on there now. As you can see, my guppies like to go hide. This black guppy here, he lays on the on the gravel outside of the shell. And then the other two guppies, they'll go hide underneath the shell here. They seem to really enjoy that. And there's the Nerite. Ansley is the name that my wife gave her. So here you can see two shrimp working on the Java moss. I'll get orange or black guppy in there too.